Oh, I'll just go now? <laughs> and then do I, are you going to say your name? Yeah, I'll say my so, name. Hi, my name is Rudy Meadows. I'm Yoeli. So about two years ago, um, Pastor Greg was giving his tithing challenge and we had been contributing to the church, but we definitely hadn't been tithing. You know, we had been going through um, probably some personal things too, and we were like, you know what, let's do it, let's test him, and let's pray for certain things, and let's see what happens. When we were going through it, we'd always go, man, that's, you know, so much, so many dollars a month, like that, that's a new car payment, that's, you know, this, and we were always still thinking about it from the opportunity cost perspective. It's not really our money to begin with, so we shouldn't be looking at what we're sacrificing to give back to him. It's more so like, well, he gave it to us. We might as well give it right back to him. I remember one time Pastor Greg said something where he was like, you know, a lot of people view um, things that happen in their life as coincidences and they don't always relate that to the blessings of God. I think slowly as things started happening throughout that year, I think any other year we would have been like, oh, what a coincidence, or oh, this is awesome that it's happening to us. But we were more aware of, hey, like, you know, we started this challenge and we changed something in our lives for the Lord. So every time something started happening, we were like, hey, this is a direct correlation of, you know, what we had started in the beginning of the year. One of the things is like money will kind of just like pop up, you know, out of nowhere. We would get a check from somebody and they were like, you know, it was like, oh, hey, you know, you basically overpaid this amount, this amount, and you know here's an extra like four hundred dollars, and just like oh wow, that's, that's that's like a lot of money. And then we just noticed that we got a couple of those like right off the bat. And then we both got promoted that summer. And then as we would get like this income coming in, or we would get these bonuses or like our raises, he and I looked at each other and we're like, okay, yeah. we've got to increase our tithing again. You know. No I hesitation. hesitation. <laughs> I was like, this is amazing. I mean, everything that was happening was positive. It also, it did something in me spiritually, and I, I believe in Yuli as well, where, you know, you take pride in knowing that you're doing something that the Lord, you know, wants us to do. And, and, and it's just like the, having the, the acceptance and the love of your own, you know, father or saying like, hey, you're doing a great job. And I just felt that overwhelming sense of calmness and, you know, just like gratitude. Yeah, so we had been struggling with infertility um, mm -hmm. for quite a few years. Yep. We um, tried for our first daughter um, and we went through four to five rounds of IVF to have her. And when we started this tithing challenge, we actually were starting the process for our second child. Right before we were about to go into the doctor, um, we actually found out that we were pregnant just yeah. on our own going back a month before we did the checkup prior to and then we found out we were pregnant and the doctor just said you know tells us okay well this is what she has from a medical standpoint and i was just like okay can you be blunt with us and she's like you can't have children by yourself so i remember the moment she called me to tell me that she was pregnant and i just thought to myself i was like this was the lord we um actually have an eight month old baby now and I am surprised pregnant again. <laughs> um, I am five months pregnant with our third child. So I remember when we found out we were pregnant with this one, we were like, all right, God, like you can stop blessing us in that way now. Like, I think we're good with on the kid front now. I have no doubt that God would have still worked in our lives and spoken to us in our relationship. So there's some intangible stuff that happens to you when you're doing it that you're just like, you know, you kind of, you just feel more patience and more uh, understanding and, you know, I, the list goes on and on. Just give it a try. Um, that's exactly why there's the three month challenge. I mean, you, you'll get it all back if it doesn't work. Yeah, worst case scenario, <laughs> you can get it all back. But I promise you, like at the end of it, you're just not, you're, you're not going to want it because again, it'll change you both internally and potentially there's other blessings, you know, tangible blessings that you might see, um, you know, in your life, so.